Alright, so I've reached a thousand subs and I promised in some comment section that I'm going to make a tutorial video. So here I am making a tutorial video. So the first thing you need to do is screenshot the map that you want to make the earthquake. And also, uh, do a right click measure distance, start at your epicenter, end it at some point like Jakarta. And then remember the distance. That's 135 kilometers. I am going to report that. We are going to need that later. Now that we have found our uh, distance, go to Wondershare Filmora 10. You need the version 10. 9 and below won't work. And you need to put your map at the bottom, put the epicenter above that, then put the blue ball in the third place, and then on the top you put the red ball. Uh, this blue one is the P wave and the red one is the S wave, so of course you can change the color. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to set this up. So you double click, this will give you animation. If that doesn't work, you could just say add animation. And then the scale, you put it at 10. Uh, also the opacity put at 50. Let's get the red one out of the way here. Okay, so you put your epicenter in the place you marked just now and then you put the blue ball uh, don't forget to disable the snapping you put your blue ball here and then you change the scale again to zero and then you try to match it up so it matches up perfectly with the epicenter we could for instance let's uh, reduce this yeah that's mostly centered uh, and then on here you you make it at you click on this side this line is on the end, you put this to four, scale to 400 and opacity to 0. Right, so what you get here is an expanding wave. Now, to make this accurate to scale, remember the distance we got, 135 kilometers. The P wave moves at around 6 kilometers per second. So you divide that by 6 and you get 22.5 seconds. So the point that we use for reference is Jakarta. So if we we need to get this this thing right at jakarta if i could move this thing here uh you probably couldn't see it but the recording box is actually blocking the jakarta thing okay basically roughly there then uh it's at 10 seconds so that means we need to make this longer basically just keep expanding it until it's roughly at 22 and a half seconds that will be a bit more please 20 seconds just a bit more yeah, it's 22 close enough uh, once you've done that you need to do the same thing for the S waves so again just put it directly at 0 and this one at 50 because remember we already know the location so we just copy that 66 minus 218 with that out of the way we do that and we do the same thing late in the end make it 400 and there you go uh, of course we need to make it match up now remember distance again the s waves move at around four kilometers per second so that's 100 135 divided by four so it should reach Jakarta at around 33.75 seconds make that a bit longer if, it, if, if I'm not putting it directly at, at Jakarta that's because I actually cannot see Jakarta the record box is actually blocking the point of Jakarta close enough now now that you have this you have this expanding thing here you also need to take into account depth, the depth of the hypocenter. Now let's just assume that the depth is around 50 kilometers. The same thing as well, 50 kilometers divided by 6, that will be 8.3 seconds. Now we do the same thing here, instead we drag this so that the scale bar uh, gets uh, smaller. We mark 8 seconds, roughly 8. 0.33 seconds we're not trying to be overly accurate and then you drag it here same thing for the s way so 50 divided by 4 there will be 12.5 seconds
there. So now your expanding seismic waves are done, the rest, well, I don't know, it's up to you I guess. If you see my videos, you also have the provinces that turn red, in which case just get Photoshop or Google, not Google, uh, paint, uh, paint.net I think, and then you just color, use the screenshot and then just color the provinces and then you know that. Uh, I guess that's the tutorial for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, please do not plagiarize my video.